the biblical truth of our hymns today. Praise Him, Praise Him of Fanny J. Crosby. Now, not all of these are going to be bad. Many are going to be good. And when we look at the fascinating woman, as Fanny J. Crosby was, it's remarkable what we can read today. She was born in Putnam County, New York. She became ill about two months old. And unfortunately, the family doctor was away. Having another doctor in attendance, a certified pretending doctor, treated her, what we're told, by a hot mustard ointment or dressing. And her illness was evidently related but the treatment left her blind. The doctors revealed to be a quack and he disappeared. And a few months later, Crosby's father died. Her mother was forced to work and F Fanny was mostly raised by her Christian grandmother. And when we look at her hymns, where I can't find any wrong, We'll go through the hymns. We are looking at her poetry and not hymns. Her poems were put to music by others. And at the age of eight, what is said to be her first poem, Oh, what a happy soul I am, although I cannot see. I am resolved that in this world, content, I will be. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't. To weep inside because I'm blind. I cannot and I won't. Again, remarkable. And when we open up to look at her hymns and we study, praise him, praise him. Jesus, there we go. There we go. There is something that has been missing from him. From the very start of this study, we have found the name Jesus missing. And when we come to, I believe it's our first Fanny J. Crosby, him, there's Jesus. Now, I am also told, and I think there's one him in doubt, but all her hymns speaks about her one day seeing Jesus, and yet she's blind. And in her hymns, her faith that God will give her eyesight, God will give her a new pair of eyes. I myself met a man one time when I was first saved, bound in a wheelchair, no legs would always tell me, one day I'm going to walk in heaven. Sometimes our handicaps are our best worship to God. Praise Him, praise Him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer. And that's what He is. He's our happy Redeemer. For joy, He went to the cross. For us, it ought to be joy. On the finished work of Jesus Christ. Sing O Earth. The only time the earth is going to sing is in the millennium. When Christ is on that throne. His wonderful love proclaim. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Go and tell people your testimony. Paul two times stood before rulers, kings people of authority, and told his testimony about that being on the road to Damascus and meeting Jesus. Hail him. Hail him. No other. Highest archangels in glory. Those that are in heaven already. Those 
that are in the realm of God's throne. Rejoice and praise the Son at the right hand of the Father. Now we don't know how many archangels there are in the Bible for, for the plural S. As far as we know, there, there's one, Gabriel. But all that be in heaven and all be on the earth, let's give honor and glory to Jesus Christ. How are we doing, Christians? In glory, in heaven. Strength and honor give to his holy name. Now what strength in, what strength can we give to God, to Jesus Christ the Son? Yet it upholds him, it lifts him up, it gives him the identity when we praise the Lord Jesus Christ. It gives him sadness and sorrow and anger when we give something else, someone else, or someplace else the praise and honor. Honor belongs to the name, a name that's given amongst all men whereby you must be saved. There's no other name, and she names that name in this hymn. Like a shepherd, oh, what a shepherd, Jesus will guard his children. Look at that. We are the children of God by Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit, adopted into the family of God. He is our shepherd, and he watches over us for good. Praise him, praise him. Jesus, ooh, again, our blessed Redeemer. For our sins, for our sins, he suffered and bled and died. That's the first part of the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures for our sins. Nothing else. There was no human priest that Fanny J. Crosby spoke about for salvation. But the human that is 100% human and the human that was 100% God sinless perfection. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world for our sins. He suffered and bled and died. And what is suffering? Uh, I don't know how many of you out there have beards. The Bible speaks about they pulled the hair from his beard. And I can't stand when my hair gets knotted in, in, with the comb. And yet they ripped the hair out of his face. Cat of nine tails. The thorns upon his brow. The nails. The whipping. He our rock, capital R, not Peter. Fanny J. Crosby is not a Catholic. Her rock is Jesus Christ, not Peter. Our hope of eternal salvation, the blessed hope, the glorious hope of that God on the cross, that the blood of God, Acts 20, 28, was spilt upon the ground to sacrifice of that lamb that we may have eternal life to those that believe with our hearts. Hail him. Hail him. Jesus. Oh, there it is again. The crucified. The death. The means of his death. I don't know if you can crucify someone on a stake. Sound his praises. Jesus who bore our oh, there's little Jesus who bore our sorrows Isaiah 53 not only has she written a poem of the love of God to her and her love to God she has included the gospel she's included the scriptures and she has included the name Jesus I looked at it with the hymns that we've done so far that have not had Jesus. Let me see over here. We have done, this is the 19th hymn we've done so far. 19. 
And I may have never had the name of Jesus. You say you keep, well, should, should they have the book about God and Jesus? Shouldn't it have Jesus? Don't we sit and say, oh, the modern Bibles removed the name of Jesus. The modern Bibles removed the, the blood. The modern Bibles do this. And yet the hymnal has not included the name above all names. And you don't realize that till you sit down and look at what you're singing. You can have three or four hymns in your church service and the possibility that we've met so far with 19 hymns. You can sing three or four hymns opening and one closing, whatever you do in your church. And you may not ever, of those five, six hymns, you may not, may not mention the name of Jesus. How you gonna begin the church service? Praise him, praise him, Jesus. There he is again. I guess Fanny Crosby makes up for all the times that Jesus is not in the hymns. Blessed Redeemer. Blessed means happy. Heavenly portals, loud and hosannas ring, and shout hosannas when Jesus came in. Into Jerusalem. Oh, they shouted heavenly hosannas when Jesus came back to the throne. The angels, the seraphims, the four and twenty-four elders, the company of them angels. I don't know if I said the angels. When Jesus came back and seated himself at the right hand of the Father, I guarantee at that moment heaven rang with praise and worship to the Lamb. He's home. And the only time he's leaving that throne is to go get his bride. He's going to meet halfway in the air. And the only time he's going to leave after that is when he goes on horseback and comes on this earth, grabs the Israelites, and gets rid of the, the, the goats. As he passes himself off into Jerusalem and sits on David's throne for a thousand years. And when a thousand years are up, heaven and earth pass away. The great white throne judgment is over. And out of heaven comes new Jerusalem, the new heavens, the new earth, and forever Jesus Christ will be seated by God. Heavenly portals loud with Hosanna ring. Jesus, oh, there he is again, Savior, reign from ever and ever. And she doesn't call him king. He's not the king of the church, but he reigneth. He's the king of the Jews. Crown him. Crown him. When he comes back on that horse, he's got many crowns. And what's his title? Prophet and priest and king. Prophet. He's told us what's going to happen in the future. He's told the nation Israel, if you don't repent and get right, this city is going to be destroyed, and it was destroyed 70 A.D. If you do not believe on the Son, you will go off into everlasting punishment, where the, the teeth are gnashing, where there is burning, there is suffering, there is torment, as it is. Priest, where he offered his blood without spot, the precious Lamb of God, without sin, he offered that blood upon Calvary. And put it on the mercy seat forever. And never, ever to die again. The priest. And he prays to the Father for us. He makes intercession before God the Father for us today. King, he's coming back and he's going to reign in Jerusalem. He's going to be upon the seat of King David. And he'll be king of the Jews as that title was above his head. Christ is coming. Now evidently, he did not come in her time, but that never had her give up. That never gave her loss of hope. And let's see, what, do we have a year when she died? In 1915, she died. 
1915. Isn't that one of the years that the Jehovah Witnesses said that he was supposed to come? But Christ did not come when she was alive. Her body's in the grave today, and yet one day, those that have sleep in Christ will come out of them graves. The meat in the air with those that are alive and remain will be gathered together. And then the next place is see the Lord Jesus Christ. She speaks about the gospel, the death, burial, resurrection. She, she, she speaks about Christ as our suffering. Christ as our sin offering. Christ as God. Jesus Christ, she speaks about, is coming again. Over the world victorious. This miserable world that's cursed because of Adam. The curse will be removed by Jesus Christ. The whole world will honor Jesus Christ. And those that won't will gather with Satan. Poof, they're gone. And they'll stand before the great white throne judgment. And they'll be cast off in a lake of fire forever. Jesus Christ is going to divide those that honor God, love God, obey God, that believed on him. And God's going to separate those who rebel, who are against, who want to have nothing to do. And upon a hill in Jerusalem, outside the gates of Jerusalem, a man named Jesus died. God gave up the ghost. After suffering. And the time, the hours that were on that cross were suffering enough. Without the cat of nine tails. The whipping upon his back. The Bible says upon his back was like the grounds of a farmer that plowed the field. But not yet a bone was broken. The being punched in the face. By the priest's guards and by the Roman soldiers. The crown of thorns. How can I say it? Rudely placed upon his brow. They put it on his head and with the, with the thorns and into his head. And the leaves bang him onto his head. They, you couldn't touch that thing. It had to be banged on his head. They're so sharp. And the agony, and the bleeding, and the soreness, and the pain, as he walked to Calvary. And those nails being nailed into his flesh, without a bone being broken. Said on that cross, Father, it is finished. Need not add at religion to salvation. It is finished. As he went down into hell and deposited our sins. Crossed that goal. Came over to Abraham's bosom and said, I am looking for a thief that repented. And I am looking for everybody else here. And called them out of that place. Three days and three nights later, they arrive on a Sunday morning to a rock that had been rolled. To a tomb that is empty, except for two angels, that proclaim the news. He is not here. He is risen. Seen above over 400 people. Acts chapter 1, ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father today. What is in his name? His name. Is Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 30. What is his son's name? I have no idea in Proverbs 30. But we know today. His name is Jesus. Now be careful. There are other Jesus out there. Jesus the son of God. Who is God? Here a woman. They're taken by, by a means of a quack. And blinded her. By the treatment. And could have had despair. And bitterness. And anger for her whole life. And I assume probably she did. 
We're all sinners. And I have heard numbers and numbers of poems as she's written. Giving glory to Jesus Christ, her Savior. She's been absent from the body and present with the Lord. I'm looking at this and see where if she says, see him. This might be the one I found that doesn't say it. But most, if not all her hymns, she will include that she will see him. And I think this is the one that, the only one I found that doesn't have that. A blind young girl, grown up, by man, the sinner. And her testimony is, Jesus is coming, Jesus saved, and I'm going to see him one day. That's my testimony too. But I've got eyes, I've got ears. I've got a mouth and a nose, two arms and two feet. I ought to take respect for this woman, for the respect she has for her Savior, Jesus Christ. 